So you're coming to lie down or sit in a position that's comfortable for you. Just a reminder to take any watches or jewellery or belts or glasses off that restrict the flow of energy so that you can have a smooth flowing energy throughout your practice. Make sure you're warm enough, got enough jumpers, socks, blankets, and any props that you need. Perhaps something under the head. If your chin lifts uh, to the ceiling, please put a cushion or a folded towel underneath the head. Perhaps you need bolsters under the knees or cushions. And just find your way down onto the floor or into your chair, into the most comfortable position for you. Don't take it for granted as you lie down that your body is in a comfortable position as you land. Actually check, adjust your hips, adjust your shoulders, wriggle your head from side to side, take your feet wider or closer, take your arms slightly away or closer to the body, but check. And then look down the length of your body to check that you're indeed in a straight line. Once you have settled the body, let's just focus on a few tense and release movements to just isolate body parts. So focus on that right leg and tense the right foot, squeeze into the calf muscle, into the thigh muscle and into the right buttock. Just hold that tension throughout the right leg and foot. Really squeeze, 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 intensify the tension. And then on an out breath, just drop that tension. Drop it. And then focus on the left leg. You're going to squeeze into those left toes and foot, squeeze into the calf muscle, into the thigh muscle, into that left buttock muscle. Squeeze, squeeze the whole of that left leg and foot, holding, increasing the tension. And then on an out breath, drop that tension. Focus on the right arm. Make fist with the right hand. You're going to lift the arm slightly off the floor. Squeeze into the forearm, into the upper arm and lift the shoulder towards the ear. Hold that tension. Bring as much tension into that right arm as you can. Next exhale, just drop that tension. Let it go. Focus on the left arm making a fist with the left hand, squeezing into the forearm, the upper arm, the shoulder, and lifting the arm slightly off the floor, bringing as much tension as you can into that arm. On the next exhale, just drop that tension. Now focus on the belly. You're going to draw the belly button down towards the mat, pushing the small of the back into the mat, perhaps squeezing into the buttock muscles, pulling in the abdominal muscles and hold that tension in the lower body. Feel it increasing, feel it becoming harder to hold. And then on the next exhale or inhale, whichever works for you, you just let that tension go and drop it. Now focus on the chest. As you breathe in, you're going to inflate the chest, lifting the sternum, pulling the shoulder blades backwards and towards each other, holding this tension, holding it, feeling it through the back and the chest. And then with the next exhale, just drop it. Let that tension just fall away. Now focus on the face. You're going to scrunch the eyes, scrunch the mouth, pull it all to the nose, squeeze, squeeze the whole face. And if you can, press gently with the back of the head into the floor, hold that tension in the face and the head and the neck, and then drop it. And now let's just squeeze the whole body, both legs tight, both arms tight, lower body, upper body, face, the whole body tight, tight, tight. And then exhale and drop it. All that tension gone. Now pay attention to the breath. 
Just feeling that beautiful breath entering and leaving the body in a very rhythmical, effortless way. Pay attention to the eyebrow center. And become aware or imagine a golden light shining there. A light similar to a candle flame, steady and true. It is time to repeat your sankalpa or your resolve, a very short positive statement of intent that you use your courage, faith and conviction to send out and remind yourself and the universe that this is your goal. And do that about three times. We're moving into the rotation of awareness through the different body parts. As I name each body part, mentally repeat the name to yourself. And simultaneously try to sense or feel that body part. And I invite you to also touch each part with that golden light. Move swiftly from part to part following my instructions. Take the awareness to the right hand. Right hand thumb, touch it with golden light. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. All the fingers together. Palm, back of right hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit. Right side, hip, thigh, knee, back of right knee, shin, calf, ankle, heel, sole, top of right foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe all the toes together. Remind yourself to remain alert and awake throughout the practice of Yoga Nidra. Awareness lands on the left hand thumb. Touch each part with golden light. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all the fingers together. Palm, back of right, left hand, Wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit. Right side, waist, hip, thigh, knee, back of right knee, shin, calf, ankle, sole, top of right left foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all the toes together. Back of right leg, back of left leg, right buttock, left buttock, back of the waist, back of right arm, back of left arm, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right side of back, left side of back, right shoulder, left shoulder, back of the head, top of the head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the eyebrow center, right eyelid, left eyelid, 
right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril, right cheek, left cheek, right ear, left ear, upper lip, lower lip, place where the lips meet, teeth, tongue, jaw from ear to ear, right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of chest, left side of chest, centre of chest, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, belly button, groin. Awareness in the whole right leg, the whole left leg, both legs together, the whole right arm, the whole left arm, both arms together, the whole front of body, the whole back of body, the whole trunk of the body together, awareness in the neck, awareness in the head, awareness in both neck and head together. Now let the awareness spread throughout the whole body, the whole body, Awareness in the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Become aware of the breath now. The natural in and out of the breath. The quiet breath that flows through both nostrils. And meets at the top of the nose to form a triangle. The spontaneous breath enters through the nostril openings, moves upwards and draws together to form a triangle with its apex at the eyebrow center. Become aware of the breaths passing through the nostrils. Become aware of the breaths passing through the nostrils separately. And be aware of both breaths separately but simultaneously. Think of the breaths as starting separately from a distance, drawing near and uniting at the eyebrow centre. Now concentrate on each breath and try to determine its temperature. Move back and forth and compare the temperatures. In yoga we say the left nostril breath is Ida, the moon, and the right is Pingala, the sun. Ida, on the left, is Kula, and Pingala, the right breath, is warmer.
Continue your awareness of breathing, but imagine now you are breathing through alternate nostrils, in through one nostril and out through the other, up and down the sides of the triangle and back again. Remain awake and alert throughout the practice. Maintaining your awareness, start counting each breath with full attention. Inhale, left, 27. Exhale, right, 27. Inhale, right, 26. Exhale, left, 26, and so on. Continue counting and breathing towards zero. Total awareness of counting and breathing. Now release the counting wherever you are. And think of an ocean, a dark blue ocean, and become aware of the waves. That ocean lies within the inner space. And the rolling waves represent sleep, the manifesting unconscious state of your mind. Become aware of sleep and try to visualize this state of unconsciousness within you like waves on an ocean. Above is a beautiful blue sky and below is the vast ocean with infinite waves. The manifesting process of unconsciousness. Imagine a well. Imagine a well and that you are looking into it. The well is dark and deep. A cylindrical tunnel into the depths of the earth. There is a bucket on a chain. You lower it into the well and it moves into abysmal darkness. You can feel it on the chain, in the depths, but you cannot see it.
Now the bucket is winding down. You are descending slowly through the light and moving into darkness. Unknown, all-pervading darkness. Complete darkness and emptiness all around. So dark you cannot see yourself. But you can know and feel that you are. You descend a little further with complete awareness that you are. Now I am winding you up, up through the darkness and into the dim light. From the dim light into daylight and out of the well. Now ask yourself, what am I thinking? But do not think but become aware of the spontaneous thought process. Become a witness to your thoughts and ask yourself again and again, what am I thinking? At the same time, maintain total awareness of any thought that is passing through the visible frame of your consciousness. Now bring to mind the images. Don't concentrate on any one image, just keep moving the awareness. Imagine a dog standing. Cats crouching. Ocean waves. Rising sun. Standing Christ, a big pond with clear water, blue lotus, boat sailing on water. See the ripples, human skeletons, yourself lying down. A golden cord across over a church. Chimney smoke rising from an old house. A cold winter. The dawn of the day. The temple bell ringing. A monk with shaven head, a yogi sitting in deep meditation, a Buddha, a golden egg, a small golden egg, very bright with light all around. Focus on this light.
Now bring to mind your resolve and repeat it three times with courage, faith and conviction. Now relax all your efforts and bring your attention to the natural breath. The easy, natural flow of the breath in and out of the nostrils. Maintain your awareness of the breath and at the same time develop your awareness of physical relaxation. Awareness of relaxation and awareness of your physical body. Develop the awareness of your body and visualize your body lying on the floor. Take your mind out and visualize the surrounding room. Allow your mind to become completely externalized. We are coming to the end of our Yoga Nidra practice. Become aware of this fact. Lie quietly on the floor until your attention is completely externalized. And then begin to start moving your body, stretching yourself, taking your time. There is no hurry. Becoming more and more aware of the body beginning to wriggle those fingers and toes, perhaps moving the head from side to side, stretching, yawning, fully awake and aware that our yoga nidra practice is now complete. When you're ready, coming into a seated position, fully awake, and alert.